Greetings, everybody. Um, my name is Brian, and I believe that I have finally discovered the cure to the infamous um, problem going around the world with the creative XFI speaker system with the popping and hissing. I'm sure you can hear that lovely noise. Um, it is, in fact, not an issue with the hardware so much as people believe in it is actually an issue with some of the software that I believe is relevant to the uh, line to input that I will uh, show you. No! <laughs> I thought your finger was in the way. No! <laughs> but uh, I'm going to show you on my, my desktop here how uh, I found the, the, the cure for this and the uh, resolution I think will uh, uh, bring everybody's pain to ease. So um, I'm going to show you the speaker I have here. It is the um, Clips Kitsch THX. Um, you can hear that lovely sound in the back on that one, the left in the right channel. Uh, volume is uh, not not very high, but high enough to where you can hear uh, the clicking and popping. So, what I will show you here is how to ease your pain uh, with this problem. Um, you're going to go to your taskbar system tray, click on right click I'm sorry your playback device which will bring up your <clears throat> audio menu here and then I have uh, default speakers here creative XFI properties you're going to go to levels and as you can see all I have turned up right now are the play control which is your main control volume line in mic 2 which by default is not used, but for some reason all of these were turned on, so I muted them. And if you turn this down, the clicking stops. No clicking. No clicking. If you turn it back up, clicking. Turn it back down again, the clicking is gone. You can leave your play control up as your master volume, and you can I can verify that by going here and just simply clicking on the ding, and voila, your popping is gone. I hope that helps.